everybody and welcome or welcome back to Allie Ann Stop Motions. A few weeks ago, I went to the American Girl doll store in Calgary and the week before that was my birthday. So in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you all the American Girl doll related things I got then. When I went to the American Girl doll store, I got Bridget's ears pierced and along with that it came with some doll earrings. There were these plain silver studs to put in the doll's ears. There were also these blue studs as well. And the package also came with some dangly earrings. These hoop earrings were my favorite and you could just stick one of the studs through the hole to put it in your doll's ear. The last set of earrings that came with the package were little stars and you put these earrings in the same way as the other dangly ones. When Bridget's ears were pierced, she got these music note earrings and I think that they match her personality very well. My Nana got me Rebecca's Hanukkah outfit, which is one that I was really wanting and I was super happy to get. It comes with these small high-heeled shoes with tiny jewels on the straps. The main thing from the set was the blue dress and I really love this dress. The skirt is very lacy and there's a blue bow along the waist. The dress has this little white flower embroidery on the bottom and inside there is just some blue fabric. The sleeves also have lace on it and there is a velcro on the back so that you can take it on and off your doll. The set also comes with this blue hair ribbon there is a clip so you can put it in your doll's hair and it matches the bow on the dress. There are also some white tights that are very stretchy. I took Bridget outside and dressed her up in the dress and she looks so beautiful. Another thing I got from my Nana is Mary Ellen's sledding outfit. There is this hat with strings so that you can tie it around your doll's neck so that the hat stays on and it is also really fluffy. The set also comes with this cream colored shirt that is a turtleneck and I like it because you can pair it with a lot of different doll outfits. Here is the jacket. It is made from really nice fabric with little pockets on either side. I was really happy that the jacket had actual buttons because I thought it would just be Velcro. Here are the snow pant type things and there are little hooks so that you can hook the straps on. I really like the color of these rain boots and they are made from a really nice material. I really like the little designs on the side, they're really cute. I was really happy that this set came with some doll socks because I think these are actually my first doll socks. They're made from a similar material as the tights in the last set. And lastly, we have the little green belt. Here is Bridget in the outfit, but unfortunately there was no snow, so she'll have to wait till next winter to go sledding. If you were wondering, this is what it looks like without the coat on. Something else that my Nana gave to me was Kira's Wildlife Rescue Set. I really like this walkie-talkie, it's really cute, it can clip onto the doll's shirt so that the doll can bring it places. There are these pink binoculars with handles so that the doll can hold it. There's also this green towel, or maybe it's a blanket, I'm not sure, but it's really soft. Here is the animal crate, it has a door that opens and closes and it is orange and pink. It's made of some really thick plastic and it has this handle so that you can hold it. Here is the wagon thing. It has wheels, so it actually moves. There's a thing that opens in the back so that you can put the animal crate in, or you can just put the animal crate in through the top. Here is the wombat that is named Bindi now. Its eyes are beaded and its ears are so fluffy. Of course, it fits in the crate. I like to put it in sideways so that it fits in easier. Here's a more up close overview of the set. The 
is what I'm really excited for. So for Christmas, I got a whole bunch of Indigo gift cards and in Canada, you can get a lot of the American Girl Dolls things from Indigo. So I got Gwyn Tan, which I decided to rename Winnie Tan. The last time I got a new doll was when I got Polly last year, so it was really exciting to unbox Winnie. I have taken Winnie outside so I can show you a little bit more about her. Her hair is in bangs and two little braids and her eyes are brown. She's wearing this purple sweater and this very fuzzy pink skirt. I really like her shoes. They are this nice purple color with some fluff on the edges and her pants are white. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this week's video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye! Yay!